tell you what, it's been very mild through the overnights. I mean, temperatures haven't dropped it below the lower 70s here in Indianapolis. Yeah, it's been nice to not wake up and walk outside <laughs> and be filled with goosebumps. Right, yeah. and have to maybe layer up. Yeah. So we are in store for a very summertime-like weather pattern over the next few days. In fact, we could potentially tie or break some high temperature records over the next really four to five days. A nice stretch here of some very warm air. You're taking a look at the live picture from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway gates open. And just over an hour from now as we get underway, a very busy day out in Speedway. We're still, again, at 73 degrees here in Indianapolis. The cloud cover as well as those southwest winds have really kept the warmer air with us through the overnight. An 18-mile-per-hour wind, so it's certainly breezy out there. But we are still dry here in the Circle City. We get up to the north. Most of the state is dry as we speak. But one more step out shows us where we have a stalled boundary. We've been monitoring a cluster of storms moving out out of Iowa this morning now into northern portions of Illinois. This will ride right along this boundary. So I do anticipate most of it staying north of us here in central Indiana this morning. Now what's going to happen this afternoon as temperatures warm, this boundary will slowly uh, slide down to the south. And that's potentially what's going to bring some portions of central Indiana a little bit of an increased chance of seeing some storms develop later in the day today. It is a significant change where that boundary is set up. Very easy to find on the map. We're in the 40s across the northern part of the state, 60 in Lafayette right now, but a very warm 73 again here in Indianapolis. For this afternoon, it will warm up quickly as we are still going to be on the south side of that boundary. We are back into the 80s by lunchtime today, rebounding to 84 by 2 p.m. By 3 o'clock this afternoon, looking at that forecast high to increase to 85 to 87. Keep in mind, it is going to be mild today, muggy conditions as well, and the potential of some storms developing later in the afternoon. But I really believe most of us stay widespread storm free until late tonight. 87, your forecast high here in Indianapolis, 87 up in Lafayette, but a quick cutoff there. South Bend only getting to around 63 today. And where that boundary is set up, well, that's where we have a chance for those storms to develop. And some stronger storms will be a possibility as well along and north of that I-74 corridor. I do believe Indianapolis is going to be in that very southernmost extent of this storm risk. Most of it stays north of us. Here's that timeline. We'll get into the morning, and here's that cluster of storms that we were watching out of Iowa. Again, impacting places like Peru and northward. Might see a stray shower around 10 a.m. here, but most of it stays north of us. We get into the evening tonight, and this is when we'll start to see temperatures again warming back up into the upper 80s. Plenty of energy to work with in the atmosphere. And then after that tonight is when we can see those stronger storms developing, should they move in. The primary hazard will be the potential of some large hail and, of course, heavy rain and some damaging wind gusts. This is that timeline here through the overnight. 3 o'clock in the morning, moves in north, starts to fall apart by 8 a.m. We have several hours of dry time for your Mother's Day, perhaps a stray shower, but still going to be very warm and muggy. And we keep that summertime weather pattern around through next week. 87 again on Sunday, 85 on Monday, and then we are going to hang out in the 80s, Alyssa, with scattered showers and storms all the way through next week.